yeah, not making any mistakes and... Okay, where do I want to jump to from here? Over that way? Probably. <laughs> there we go. And this way. This way. Yeah, not uh, web zipping to structures that I just can't stick to. Okay, well, luckily I managed to land on top of the building then. That cut scene uh, a little bit awkward the way it started. I might have ended up plummeting to the ground. Well, not to the ground, to the picture below us. Okay, over we go. Okay, let's land here where I'm sure a bunch more, yep. A bunch more bots are coming to play. And uh, their attacks home in on me ever so slightly. Just slightly. Yeah, I wish this was used in the normal version of Spider-Man 2, and obviously that it was polished up and uh, given a bit more time and care. Could have been amazing. You know, obviously without sacrificing anything else that we had to do with Mysterio, like in the theater, and <sighs> being careful. Don't want to suddenly fall all the way back down. <sighs> yeah, without sacrificing anything else, like fighting Mysterio. Well, fighting his bots at the theatre and saving the civilians. Uh, a little bit of the uh, Statue of Liberty mission swinging on over, breaking those... Yeah, actually, it, it, this is actually very much comparable to that mission, because we had to swing over to the Statue of Liberty, break the generator in order to restore normalcy, get rid of this illusion, and we're doing the same here. Another one of these doodads hiding around here somewhere. Except it's quite a bit bigger and more elaborate. Okay, there we go. Need to web sling to that. Okay, don't get too cocky. Don't get too cocky. Take my time, do it right. And then going to uh, Mysterio's fortress. I'm being uh, very generous, calling it a fortress. Uh, yeah, going to Mysterio's fortress. Ooh, that, what's that down there? That looks interesting. I think it's a waste of time exploring it, though. It's, it's just going to be nothing. Um, see, so yeah, I'll head over there to the last pink light shooting from the skies. Yeah, Mysterio's fortress and fighting against all the weird clowns and things that popped up there and of course the incredible boss battle against him man that, that was just sensational i can't believe mysterio was so tough and of course of course the most important part of it which this game lacks as i'd said before about puma and mysterio the setup actually getting to see quentin beck and having him hold a grudge against us and seeing his uh, transition into becoming Mysterio. Okay, where do I want to go from here? Okay, I probably do actually want to go down that way then. Okay, let's uh, go this way. There we go, there we go. Let's just land down here. Oop. Okay, let's fight these contraptions of Mysterios. These aren't just illusions. These aren't just some sort of a trick. These are actually real. Crazy mechanical enemies for me to fight against. And uh, yeah, I don't just pass through them. They're actually there. They actually do damage to me. Oh, boy. Do I want to risk making that? And I also can't really uh, change my web slinging. It, it, it's just predetermined 
you go this way, swinging back and forth. I can't turn around and start swinging that way. Yeah, I'm just heading back this way now. But I want to go... Okay, yeah, let's just take the long route then. Don't risk it, don't risk it. Just take the long route. There we go. Okay, downwards we go. Oh, can I? Ah, damn it. I still want to pick things up ever since I accidentally did so at the bank vault with Doc Ock. I want to pick up a car and launch it. That might be uh, too much wishful thinking, though. It's very rare that you get a game where you can lift things up that actually allows you to lift up cars, at least with Spider-Man. Don't get to use your super strength too often. Love it when you do, though, especially uh, Web of Shadows. One of the best games for displaying Spidey's strength. Just jump around the rooftops and punch up chimneys, why not? Just knock down brick trim chimneys and walls and... Oh, well, there you go. Even though you're floating off the floor, I guess you can't fly that well. So, you'll just fall into oblivion down there. Oh, there we go. Easy. Now let's get up this building, if I can. If I can actually head all the way up. Yeah, very good. Wasn't any sort of invisible wall blocking my path. Okay, risked it a little bit there. I didn't actually know there was another rock for me to web sling to. But the risk paid off. Oh boy. Yeah, I really wish this level showed up in normal Spider-Man 2. Jeez, please actually web zip to it. There we go, there we go. Because, uh, yeah, everything's just a little bit, uh... Oh, boy, I, I need to web swing from there, but apparently I'm not close enough. Is there anything else I can get to? Oh, boy, I'm right at the last one. All right, I guess I'm going to have to risk it then. Guess I'm going to have to risk it. No! No! Oh. Well, that's handy. At least I don't die, and it did actually put me fairly close back to this yeah it's just over there okay let's try making it again then amazing web slinging action okay there we go that one okay so how do I get over there then Ah, there we go. I'm actually able to swing there now. And to that one I go. Hey! Nice and easy. Okay, so yep, another shield has been brought up, protecting the generator until I deal with these guys. Who are more or less dealt with. Oh, no, he's still... Well, he just self-destructed. I thought he was just off of the island there, but he was managing to cling on. Managing to cling on. Just about. Okay, well, let's smash up this thing and see... Hey, feels like my spider sense is coming back. ...what happens. Alright, so, that thing in the middle actually was something important. I just had to open it up, that's all. Yeah, really wish this showed up in base Spider-Man 2 game. Because, yeah, the combat and the web sling and, and everything really drags it down. And this is such an interesting idea. It's just, unfortunately, not enough time was put into this game as it was in the normal Spider-Man 2 game. Not enough time and effort and care and love. 
just a terrible option to play Spider-Man 2 if you didn't have a console. Okay, almost over there. Almost. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Got things to do. Mysterios to beat on. If I can eventually head over there. Okay, I think I'll just avoid the bots for now. Let's just hurry up and get over there. Yeah, bye bye, bye bye. Let's just ignore them. Taking a little bit too much time. Ooh, a nice, badly textured bridge for me. Okay, not able to web zip. There we go. And like some kind of portal. Well, you know what they say: grass is always greener. If there were grass. <laughs> what an incredible quip. You may have passed the first test, but you won't survive this one. Oh, we'll just see about that. And okay, that's why we've changed to a night sky scene. It's because meteorites are coming down. Probably want to avoid them. Okay, let's get to it then. Um no idea where I need to head to. I can't see any big spiraling lights coming out from the skies. So, uh, I guess this way is as good as any. So yeah, I'll just run and swing around the map and hopefully we'll just run into something at some point. Because at the moment, no idea where I need to go. Don't have any spidey compass helping me out or anything like that. And I'm guessing these big floating boulders, if they knock into me whilst I'm web slinging, Spidey's gonna end up just. Oh, jeez. Spidey's just gonna end up letting go of his web line. Dinosaur discovery. Can I can I fight against some? Wow, real jittery running up and down this. And can I actually hear a dinosaur? Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I really want Mysterio to have some animatronic dinosaurs for me to fight or something. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's a light. Okay, over that way then. I guess it was just a bit too far away from me and it hadn't rendered in yet. So I'm going to have to run around the map a little bit more and probably find another two of those things because it's always in threes. Yep, there we go. You're done. Yeah, run around the map, find more generators that I can't see at the moment because they're just too far away and yeah look at that skyscraper Oop, there we go popping in and out yeah it's just a bit too far away from me okay let's wait for you to pass and zip on over okay actually I'm, I'm just gonna ignore these they're taking up too much time and we want to get to the main event okay up this way once again, hoping that these giant floating boulders don't impede my progress. Jeez, that was maybe a little bit of a close one. Maybe I should uh, stop to think a little bit more and... What a weird way to web sling. There we go. I'm up. improve generators. Now with turrets. Okay, improve generators with... Oh, hang on. Pick up... Ah, okay, so those meteorites, they're not just some sort of hindrance to me. I can use them. So throw rocks to distract the turrets and then web them up and then I can get to the generator. Okay, you got it. Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, so I actually do get to use Spidey's super strength. Oh, I can't 
moved, yeah, the same problem as when I was in the bank vault and I accidentally picked up a stack of cash or whatever it was. Can't move around whilst holding them, so hopefully this, nope. Okay, let's try and pick it up like this, and then, yeah, there we go, so I'm a bit closer, and need to angle it up a lot more. Oh, come on, can I not web zip to the ground? I guess not. Okay, that platform is just, it's like a non-stick frying pan, so can't web zip to it. Gonna have to judge my jump a little bit better. Okay, so throw that over, make the jump, move around to the back of this thing. Well, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Throw that, jump on over, and web zip, web shot these things. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, why didn't it work before? Okay, they move around pretty quickly. If I could... No, 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 no way I can manage to do that. Okay, and these rocks don't seem to be spawning back in again. Ooh, no. Okay, so I've got these to play with and then no more. So I've got to make them count. There we go. Don't know why it didn't work the first time. And, oh. Uh. What? Okay, there we go. Okay, so. One generator. Pull the plug on all of these generators. One generator down, and I actually have my. Uh, oh, Jesus! What? This game. Oh boy, this game. Okay, so the platform disappears without any warning whatsoever. And I now have a compass to direct me over to the next place I need to head to. And this. Okay, let's just jump over here. Alright, follow the compass, easy enough.